Welcome to another video by the JSPRC. We have the Creighton EXB fifth scale. Uh, it's back. Uh, I did a walk around this uh, vehicle, uh, I would say a couple of weeks ago, probably, or maybe a little bit longer than that. I kind of for forgetting, yeah. But finally, I got some parts for this guy in. I did get the servo from Power HD. It is a 65 uh, kilogram from Power HD. Uh, at six volts, it's 763.8 ounces of torque. At 7.4 is 833 ounces of torque. Now I'm not sure if the camera is gonna to want to focus, probably not. It really doesn't want to. But it is a monster servo. Close to 900 ounces of torque. Uh, that's awesome. And not that expensive. Uh, Canadian, uh, I think it's around hundred dollars if I remember correctly. If you look at the Savox, the first one I was looking at, I think it was around 150 and it is waterproof too. The other item that's in, we do have the hobby wing max five. That's going to be the main power of this vehicle. Fine then, don't fall. And we have a Coke can I'm gonna put in it. Basically, uh, a very small motor. This is the 1100 KV from Hobby Wing. And just to show you the physical size of this guy here, I do have a Coke can here. Basically, this is what, 355 millimeters? And yeah, it's pretty much <laughs> the same size. But anyway, this is what we are putting in. I installed the servo already. Um, the servo saver is a little bit of a pain in the, the rump, should I say. Uh, to build, but follow your instructions correctly. There is a tons of video how to do it. I decided not to do it. Uh, it is what it is. But if you do have any questions, don't hesitate. I'll be able to answer you. Uh, now, let's push this guy a little bit to the side here. Hoping doesn't uh, roll down the table. We're gonna grab our motor here, because this is a little bit easier to do. We're gonna to try to keep the wires on top. I do have the motor plate here that, that does screw at three different places. Now I'm gonna, what I forgot to grab is my Loctite. I'm gonna use some blue Loctite. This is from TLR. Any brand that you grab doesn't really matter. Yes, 2.5. There we go. I'll make sure it's secure on my screwdriver. Hold it. You don't need a ton. Now what I do, I'm not gonna fully secure that one in completely. I'm gonna wait that I have all three in. Because what could happen here is, let's say you did not align your holes correctly. It's just easier and less of a mess to clean after. Now I'm just gonna snug them. I 
and make sure my mount doesn't move. Once that's done, I'm gonna tighten them down. Now, unfortunately, I did not get the pinion. While doing this video, uh, physically, the pinions are pretty much all back ordered. Uh, this pandemic is really kind of starting to hurt her, hurting her the industry, should I say. Now I'm just going to try to wiggle this guy in because it is, it is a key. And I really don't feel like removing the mount. I'm just going to flip it. Now, you could physically remove your side skirt. It would be a lot easier to put in. But unfortunately, I'm stubborn. It, that's what I might end up doing here. Just, this is a, not getting to be fun right now. What I'm going to do here, <laughs> I'm going to relook how I'm going to do this. I'll be right back. And I'm back. You guys probably didn't notice anything. Uh, unfortunately, I physically tried to do it with the uh, side skirt or the body protector or God knows what you call it. Uh, but unfortunately, I had to remove it. Uh, there was no way to be able to slide this Coke can in place. Uh, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly about seven screws. I had to remove one of the battery trays, two at the same time, and the side skirt to be able to remove this motor here. Now I'm just going to finger tight these screws here because I can't put it in 100%. I do not have the pinion. And I should have it soon enough as the weather's getting greater and greater outside and really want to go play with this guy. Now we're just going to flip it the other side around. Now we do have the cover here for the radio box. Can't forget our gasket. Making sure it doesn't fall off when you turn it. There we go. Sits down there. Now there is four screws that bolts the uh, the cover for the. Uh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna sing it. <laughs> the uh, receiver box. But again, I'm not gonna put them in because I need to remove this again uh, one way or another. Now the ESC will go right here. And what's fun? What they did, you can still access these four screws after the fact. Now the AC will go here and these motor wire will be able to go right there. Now what I ended up doing here is putting two-way tape underneath it 
and I did not put one or two small squares And this servo tape, love it, but hate it. Try to remove it. I think I just got it. Yes. The sun will put a small piece in it. I went both sides. And I'm just going to align it in the middle here. And put a lot of pressure on it. Now, any two-way tape you do install, uh, it, uh, it is recommended to wait, I got 24 hours before playing with it. <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm one on each side here for each battery. Now we'll be able to remove this and tuck our wires in. And then we'll find a place to mount this on and off switch. I might do it just on the side of the ESC here or I don't know, maybe on the uh, diff case. I'm not sure 100% yet. Now for your wires, uh, We'll go underneath here. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a zip tie right here. Not too tight, just to prevent the wires from from running around, I call it. You could tie it to your uh, main brace if you wanted here, but I'm not going to do that. Let's say one day I need to remove it, I don't need to undo this. And then the only thing I have left is bring this one back in the box, put my receiver in there, and we're golden. Probably one of the next videos you'll see about this vehicle is basically be running it. Uh, I do have another upgrade coming for it. Uh, it's kind of white. That will be another video. But we do have something here. But yeah, check out the next video. If you have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up in that corner. I do appreciate it a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.